I'm just taking another little video. Uh, can't stop filming these beauties. The monarchs this morning uh, feeding heavily. It's too windy to release them. They were hatched two days ago. And uh, I never put them in the in the fridge the first day. <clears throat> I used to not put them in the fridge until I ended up with the monarch with broken wings and I decided that was the end of that. So now uh, I wait about 24 to 36 hours. I would say 36 hours after their hatch. You can put them in the fridge. They won't feed anyways. They will not feed the first day. Uh, even the second day, it's rare that they will feed unless they've been in the fridge. Uh, that's hard on their uh, energy budget and then it will trigger them to start feeding. Once you start feeding them and they get used to the nectar in the sponge, they get addicted to it. <laughs> so it's not a problem at all to uh, to feed them. They'll, they'll feed until they're totally full, full, full. There's been some research showing that that's one of the best ways to get them uh, them fat for the migration. I tried the uh, fruits like uh, strawberries, mangoes, different things like that, uh, old fruits. They're not too fond of it. Uh, and the, the fact is science has proven that apparently that uh, just a mixture, a nectar made out of sugar is better to get them fat faster. So that's what I'm, uh, I'm using. Now this one seems to, uh, see, you know, he's going at it. Sometimes they'll take a break, uh, they'll stop feeding and uh, they'll just start over after a few minutes of break. And that's probably what's going to happen here. Monarchs getting ready to get tagged for the Monarch, Monarch Watch program. And on their way, hopefully, to Mexico. Probably tomorrow or Monday. That's it.